treat you good all night. What's up, man? It's Dominic from 98.7 FM. Uh, they also call me the Demon. We're over here taking a grand tour cool. of our second penthouse. Cool. So you guys are going to see some inside scoops. All right. Johnny B right there. What's up, What's man? Good, good to you see you. As you can tell, we're on the seventh floor, seven being lucky number. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> so as you walk in, we've got some deep wow. going on over here. We've got our wall of music yeah. to your right. Yeah. We saw a feature artist that we play on our station. Also got the Rockaholic Hollywood sign. Can't forget that bad boy. Absolutely. So let's make our way into one of the rooms right here. Cool. Check out the vibe. As you can tell, it's very spacious. It's a very old school feel apartment. We've got our graffiti up here on the wall. Yeah. Representing the love, 98.7 FM. Awesome. We've got a very pretty lady named Marilyn Monroe over here. Yeah, I've seen her before, yeah. James, James. do you know about him? Yeah. At the base, you got some couches in here. It was a little... A little hard in the feng shui, but I think we captured the moment. Yeah. You know, you can be the judge. Have you slept but, um, in here yet, Dominic? What's that? Have you slept in here yet? You know what? I haven't had the pleasure of, of crashing yeah. it out here yet. I'm looking forward to it. Maybe the night will take me so inebriated that I might end up here. <laughs> All I'm right. Look at that zebra couch. Looking real this good. This has got your name on it right there. Awesome. <laughs> so we're making our way. That's one of the rooms. Okay. This is yeah. the, the feature island. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, cats right here. We got Ray. Got Mike. Hey, what Daryl. Up, what's up, you guys? Over here. What, what, what up? What up? This is the rock star room, as you can tell. We've got rock band going on. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll in the drum set thing. We've got a mirror. This mirror took forever to put up. We got it up. Uh -huh. We're pretty proud of that mirror. Yeah. It's not a big deal. And, uh, you know, just to represent a little bit more of LA, we've got the Lakers and Los Goyers. That's right. That Kurt, that's Kurt Gibson. Uh, your guess is better than mine. Is. I'm kind of more of a basketball guy. Okay. <laughs> All right. One thing I want you to notice is the shack yeah. carpet. Yeah. This is actually custom. Whose idea was that? That was actually Mike Salas's. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. So when the awards go out, he's going to get best interior design. Not a big deal. <laughs> We're going to make our way down. All right. Through what some might consider the haunted elevator. I don't even know. Uh -huh. I don't know if we'll get So is there, is there a history behind this building at all? From what I've gathered through staff and uh, hearsay, some of the tenants, back in the 30s there was a chick named Shirley Sheese or something like that along mm -hmm. those lines, and she actually passed away inside the elevator. In this elevator right this here? This elevator. And if anybody that's taken this elevator can tell you, it's really creepy. Yeah. It's kind of, you walk into it, and the door closes behind the door, and it's like this wooden box, and you kind of feel like you're in a... Um, Disneyland, like the haunted house, you know, when you first get in there and you're trying to like, I think it's what they, they model it after, ah, like the whole design and everything. Right, so, right, right. The only thing about this elevator is that it's so old, it takes forever, you right, know what I mean? Right, right. But as you can tell, the blue light's coming up, that's when we know we're good. That kind of reminds me of E.T. So if uh, this is the last transmission that Rockerazzi ever makes, that's pretty much, you know what happened. Yep. Yeah. If, uh, if you guys don't see me in the streets or on uh, 98.7 if anymore, you can, you can let us know. All right, here it comes, man. My, my family probably be taking donations. I'm nervous. Let's go to the fifth floor. Have what? you been to the fifth floor yet? Um, I don't believe so. Have we filmed it? Okay, we're going no. there. Shirley might not want us to leave. Wow. I'm not sure. This is eerie, man. It is eerie. And then I think There's like a... if you open this up here, you can see some of the spirits that dwell oh, in there. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. I don't want to give you too much. You know, no, I don't, don't want to overdo the no, senses. No, seriously, you know? seriously. This may not even be a film because <sighs> some weird crazy. stuff happens. It is. Yeah. I mean, watch the film not even come out. You know, when you go back to edit. <laughs> it's all overexposed. <laughs> Kooky. All right. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm right. actually a Jedi. It's a little bit of force. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's going to get a little dicey out here. Yeah. If you can see straight across, we've got DJ Love Machine on the ones and twos. Right on. Yeah. A couple of people from the industry hanging out. Got some gifts, some cupcake situations over here. Very tasty cupcakes. Oh, right. Met these guys over at Bamboozle. Had a whole good time with them. We had a cupcake eating contest and all this stuff. This is great. Cool. Um, some other buddy right here, John. John's from John, what's up, man? He's hanging out, helping out with everything. Cool. Back over there. Let me take you over here with the catering and the food. Okay, cool. Uh, it's a little bit of rancid on there. <laughs> This is where everyone's going to be feasting their faces. Oh, yeah. We're really excited. This is usually my favorite part is the food. Chimichangas. Oh, we're coming around. Jane, coming around. Yes. I'm not in the menu, but I will show you the menu. Yes. You're, you're not on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure later in the day you're going to get asked that plenty. If you're plenty. lucky you enough. Like that? Chicken. Uh huh. I, you know what? I, if I'm not mistaken, these are empanadas, right? Very good. Did you yeah. see that? See, what, what I marry, I marry, I'm here. from New Mexico, so I know this great. stuff. Yeah. And yeah. this is great. You gotta have some of these. They smell oh, great. Oh wow! Buffalo wings. They smell delicious. They smell yeah. delicious. Did you make these? Uh, yes, my boss here. Oh really? I did. Now is that our secret family recipe? Oh yeah. You guys I did. I made the empanadas, chicken empanadas, yeah. chicken taquitos. I feel like my face is sweat. Oh, look at this. Yeah. This is perfect. Sweet. We're, we're right. in Hollywood. We're in Hollywood, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. Exactly. It's incredible. You know, I'm man. actually gonna try the salsa right now. Alright, Dominic's going in on the salsa. Yeah. We're gonna she said it's world famous. Okay. Get his face. And I'm Latin, okay. so right. this is a good test. Yeah. Notice the approach. Let it simmer, man. You see, he even closed his eyes. You see, you see, do you see the sweat? I do. I the see automatic it. sweat going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good. I'm gonna put these on because I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the rest of the good. interview. Good, excellent. Dominic, how, now, now you can really tell us how it was. That was actually delicious. <laughs> Look, I got some relatives. I've had my share of salsa, right. but it's bomb. I can't wait to just devour food. This All is right. usually my always my favorite part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of doing these kind of gatherings is where the food and the right. drinks go. Thanks for the tour, man. You're cool. It's very nice to have you. You're awesome, Rockerazzi. You guys are the best, man. Thanks awesome. for having me on the. Thanks, Dominic. Well, I'll treat you good!